I'm going to talk about the checker texture you use when laying out UVs in Maya. You can use the built-in procedural checker uh, to a certain extent, but it does tend to have a few flaws, uh, and that's why I and a lot of people use um, your own custom-built uh, texture out of Photoshop or something like that. And I'll just show you why real quick. So I've just done a, a planar projection on the front of this guy just to have some checkers show up on him. Uh, and as you're laying out UVs, typically you want to have pretty high resolution of um, squares so you can actually make sure that you don't have distortion all over the place. So the way you would do that for the procedural node is open up uh, the place and then up your repeat. So in this case, maybe I want to go to 16 by 16 or something like that. Um, so you can see, and I'm just going to go ahead and, and open this up and just press control spacebar and so it can see this a little bit better. So um, everything sort of breaks down, gets a little bit fuzzy. Uh, that's the first problem. That is a resolvable problem. You just would need to go to the shader itself, go down to ha hardware texturing on the shader and you can change your texture resolution to something like highest and that should resolve it. Um, so you can see now the, te the checkers actually look fine. You can see there is the start of some distortion between these two. This is actually not a distorted area of the model. I just did the projection. It, it'll be slightly distorted but not as much as you see here. Like this one is pretty short compared to this one. Uh, and that's actually coming from um, some internal um, probably rounding flaw or something inside Maya. Another thing you can do if you need to is just turn your texture filter to unfiltered and that'll sharpen it up further. Um, you will get aliased lines on diagonals but um, that's really not as much of an issue when you're doing UVing. Okay but let's say I still want this to be higher um, yet so I would go in here and maybe just double this again up to 32 and now you can really see uh, what's going on again I'm not sure if this is a rounding error or what it is but uh, there's not this much distortion on every other um, row of checkers so there's just something going on um, with using the procedural one and this is why typically you will want to use your own um, checker texture plus there are some other benefits I can't really tell what's where um, on a UV layout from a black and white checker like this. So let me go over here and just middle mouse click and drag and I'm going to connect that to color. And so this is uh, now a map that I've created and you can see it's basically um, distortion free except where there's actually distortion in the model which is exactly what you want uh, to test for. You don't want to be worried about you know the, some rounding error that's causing problems that don't exist. Obviously this is going to be totally tanked on the side because I just did a straight projection on it. Um, but at any rate the arrows give you some indication of the flow of the UVs, what's up and what's down, what's right and what's left. And then there's an underlying color um, so I can tell left to right, top to bottom, that sort of thing. So again exactly how you set up the UV um, checker texture is totally up to you. What you include in it, totally up to you, but this is the reason why you would choose to use a file note instead of the built-in procedural. And I'm going to go over actually how to do the layout in, uh, in the next video.